extra bright super moon has been lighting up the sky all over the world. The full moon has not been this close to Earth since 1948. It will reach the peak of its full phase at 8.52 a.m. Eastern, but the stronger gravitational pull is amplifying the seasonal king tide and creating heightened flood risk in places like South Florida. David Begno is in Fort Lauderdale with the threat. David, good morning. Charlie, good morning. 45 minutes ago, this was dry, but we put on the rubber boots now. You can see behind me, the water's coming in at a pretty steady clip. I just noticed some bubbles right here in the street, so there's a crack, and the water is actually coming up through the concrete and some of the nearby drains. Look, people here in South Florida are used to this. It's a way of life if you live in the area. However, with the super moon, which is rare, it's creating a conversation about how things are changing and what cities are doing about it. The supermoon over Miami was stunning, unless you lived in a place like Coconut Grove. On South Bayshore Lane, the bay came ashore at high tide Sunday night. So it looks like we have about six inches of water here in the street that shouldn't be. That's right. By 2030, we expect up to another six inches of sea level rise to occur, so we might see another six inches on top of this. With rising sea levels, seasonal king tides are swapping storefronts and submerging city streets. But scientists say this month's flooding is expected to be even worse, so thanks to the so-called super moon. Is the moon closer to the Earth than normal? It is, it is. That additional gravitational pull has caused our high tides to be a little bit higher than they would have been without that super moon. We're at the point now that, you know, the waters are rising high enough that it's interfering with public safety. Ray Coley manages the waterway and sewer systems in Miami Beach. There, scientists say flooding incidents have increased at least 400% in the last 10 years. A year ago, we were having to close the road twice a day because the water was about a foot taller than the ground. If we have to close this road, that affects our police, our fire, our ambulance service. If Miami Beach's sea level were to rise just two feet, the area would undergo a radical transformation. Desperate times lead to desperate measures. The city is now spending at least $400 million trying to keep the tourist mecca higher and drier. 50 temporary pump stations have been installed. More permanent ones are on the way, similar to those in New Orleans. And Miami Beach is actually raising the city streets and elevating flood walls. Dr. Tiffany Troxler says this has gone beyond the debate over climate change. What's happening is that we have sea level rising in our neighborhoods and we need to do something about it now. Most people here in Fort Lauderdale live about five feet above sea level, but Nora, there is a report that says by 2030, sea level could rise another six inches. 2030, that would be four years before we're talking about the next supermoon. Wow, that's incredible. David, thank you so much.